We're here in the parade ring at the Cara. Great anticipation, the winner of the best dressed lady just about to be announced. We have five fantastic finalists, and Nora Casey and Avine Garry just about to announce the winner who will win a fantastic trip to Abu Dhabi, courtesy of Etihad Airways. At the Cara, we're always looking for effortlessly chic. It's a very hard thing to achieve, but basically it doesn't matter how much money you have, what age you are, some way of putting on your clothes where you look fabulous and you feel comfortable in them. We're not going to go Royal Ascot on it. We won't be measuring people's hats and, and, uh, and straps. But yeah, we're looking for, for elegant, I think, is, 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 is the, the buzzword. I suppose, what are the big do's and don'ts of coming to the races and the style that you're looking for? I think that if you have a little bit of individuality about your style, if there's something that's, you know, uniquely you, that you should wear it and wear it with a plum. Gerald, editor of Tatler Man, is joining me to tell me about the inaugural Best Dressed Man. Alexander, what are you looking for today? I, until I see it, I won't know, but basically I think the parameters that, that I'd love is, is a man who's really made an effort, who looks elegant, who's wearing the clothes rather than the clothes wearing him. Uh, you know, he's just, he's really, you know, he's standing out, I think elegant and refined is, is, would be the two key words. My hat is eBay and it originally cost 600 euros but the girl wore it to York last year and she said she couldn't wear it again because it was photographed so many times so she sprayed it gold, stuck it on eBay and I got it for 30 pounds. What a bargain! And the rest of my outfit is all pennies apart from the shoes. The shoes I bought yesterday, they're actually originally shoe but I got them for a fiver at a car boot sale so I'm all kind of bargain basement today. Well, I bought my outfit in Carlo in uh, Touch of Class. The boutique is owned by um, Helen Mullins, the Mullins horse racing family, so we keep it all in the business. I actually make hats. I didn't make this one, but I make hats, I design them, and uh, so I do a bit of styling. So I suppose it all goes hand in hand. So every lady loves style, and it's a great day out for when is a ladies' day. My dress actually I've had in the wardrobe for years is just High Street out of Mango. My hat is um, Aoife Kerwin and she also made the belt for me to go with it so I collected that yesterday. The little jacket is Monsoon and my little bag is actually Gucci and it's belonged to my mother, it's years old. <laughs> I'm going to give it to uh, Joe Gregg and uh, congratulations Joe, um, delighted to have you with me, thank you. It's an elegant look, he's gone for a lovely uh, suit with a beautiful waistcoat, a pocket square. The one thing that lets men down often is their shoes and uh, you know Joe's shoes, he, you know they were lovely and polished, they were presentable, they weren't brown, curly up at the end, so you know I'm, I'm delighted with the choice, I think we've got a good winner. My dress is from Kimono Boutique in the Casa West. Two of the finalists actually had their dress from there. I've designed the hat myself. Uh, I've recently set up my own millinery business, so um, it's a great boost for me and a real big compliment now to win today. She, she looks great Gatsby esque which is fantastic, it's very on trend. She's so natural, she's fresh faced, she's young, she's a teacher of first year here in Kildare, near Kildare. So she had everything going for her today, she looks very beautiful. Yeah. 